All right, here we go. We're gonna get started on this painting here. What I forgot to mention is that I went ahead and wiped it down with alcohol, alcohol too. This might not be the right stuff, but I went ahead and wiped it down a couple of times, especially if you're gonna put your finger, like I don't have any, I didn't have any gloves on me. Uh, so if you're gonna be handling your guitar or whatever, um, try to wipe it down. I wiped it down again right now, so I didn't have any residual oils on my hands deposited onto the guitar. Uh, it just helps. I've, I've done projects before where I've handled the item and then I go to spray and then right where my fingertips were, if it was greasy or was hot out that day, I might have left some residual oils for my fingers on the, on the item you're spray painting. And you just get little spots area where the paint doesn't want to adhere quite much, it's quite as well. So go ahead and just wipe this good and down with your alcohol or whatever you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use this right off and give it a couple of coats. I might let the video go the entire time since I'm only going to do five to ten minutes in between. I've already got this good and shaken up already. All right, let's start. More talking. More action. Do some light coat first. This will be the tricky part, the underneath when I start to paint. I don't know if you can hear me better, okay, but I'm trying my best here, so I'm not going to close up here for it when I'm done. One more time on here. Make sure the tape is nice and sealed on every edge here that I don't want paint to get on. I went ahead and put some right here on the inside here where the truss rod is. Just jam some in there just so it doesn't get in the truss rod groove. Grooves and then I'm gonna just press my finger real nice tight on here and hope for the best. Just having some fun with it guys. And ladies. Should have went a little lighter, but it's okay. Do some light dustings here to start. All right, it's a little bit wider than Okay. Okay. Let that dry up now. It's coming along real nice. I'll be back. Ten minutes, coat number two. All right, go ahead and give us the second coat, and I think that should be it on this. I'm gonna get a little closer here for you to show you what we're working with so far. First coat, not bad. This is just a nice light dusting. The paint primer on this Lagoon Satin. All right, let's hit it with the second and last coat. It really hasn't even been 10 minutes, I'm just saying. 
might have just been, uh, I don't know, five, eight minutes. I'll do the last coat on this headstock here. There we go. Get the edges real good right there along the sides here. And you can see the scratches from the sanding, but they're very little scratches, so you know the paint's going to adhere well. And then once you hit it with this glitter, this is going to hide everything. So don't worry if you have a few scratches you can see through your paint primer. Not a big deal. But again, we're just having, just having some fun with this. These are fun projects. This one just going a little heavier. Don't want it to cool up. Just want to get some good coverage. I think that might be good here. Leave the rest for the body. Maybe I'll do a third coat, maybe. It looks great though, so far. There is orange peel, yes, but no drips, no runs. And I should mention, I'm doing this here in, in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's about, mm, I'd say about 85 right now outside in the garage. Maybe about 80, 75, so it's perfect, perfect. Perfect temperature, all right, let's get to this. Let's get a couple. Close up shots for you here. Now we're going to try to get a little bit more coverage. More th thorough coverage here, and I'll start on the top here. Get the pocket area here. I don't want it to pool up in any areas, but you just want to get good cut. Uh oh. See a little spot there? That's part of the little paper towel. Well, you probably want to use a microfiber cloth. I just used some paper towels when I was putting this alcohol on and cleaning it. But no big. I got it off, so let's keep going. Tell you what, this is already looking sharp, this color. Very sharp. moving around too, it kind of saves me the trouble of having to move it around here. Plenty of paint, paint plenty of spray paint left in here. If you're thinking this might not be enough, this is definitely one can is enough for your paint and primer.
get real good around where the wire is at. All right, now I know that might have seemed like a lot, but you gotta go by your uh, kind of, go by your gut, go by your feel when you're doing these kind of uh, paint jobs here. Um, there's no runs in this, absolutely no runs at all anywhere. I never went heavy enough. You can kind of see from, if you ever used a spray can, from, from kind of from experience. This looks fantastic already. The color is amazing uh, underneath. It's looking great. I do have uh, quite a bit still in the can there. So I'll probably go ahead and give it one more good coverage. One more shot after about 10 minutes. Just because I'm not going to have anything else for this can. I mean, there has to be half of this can still. You could almost probably say if you were doing two can, two guitars, you more than likely could get away with one can for two guitars. Headstock and body included. I could be done here and go to the glitter phase next. This headstock. Natural light is looking absolute tops. This is the cat's pajamas here. This is awesome. This is gonna look Fantastic. Fan, it's gonna look fantastic with this glitter. Don't be scared about these projects. Go ahead and just uh, have some fun with it. That's why I always recommend getting inexpensive guitars. Get yourself a really inexpensive guitar. Even though it's, you, you know, it's not your favorite color, your favorite design, change your pick art out, give it a paint, paint job. This looks fantastic. For an offset, Oh man, I might be hooked on this glitter spray paint. All right, I'll be back. All right, continuing back, I went ahead and put a third coat on and it looks fantastic. Uh, there's slightly bit of spotting, but it's got full coverage, it has full coverage, so. It looks fantastic right now, this Lagoon Blue. Could almost be good enough right there if I put a clear on that. This looks fantastic. Headstock. Looks great. Third coat on that too. Any tiny little scratches there were, they're almost gone completely from the sanding. So this is looking fantastic. Now to the fun part. The glitter. If you're gonna do this kind of project, I highly recommend wearing a mask. Just take a spit. And that was blue, so that's not good. Go ahead and put the mask on. Shake the can up real well. Rustoleum Imagine. They also, it's also called Rustoleum Glitter. And this one's the turquoise glitter, so. Let's start the fun part. This is what I've been waiting for. I also bought this glitter too. I wasn't sure about this turquoise glitter, but this is a little too big. Even though this is a really nice color here too. Let's see what we got here. Got 
Here we go. Let's try the headstock first. Oh, concussion. Not good. Uh oh. But there's a foul. Might have a problem here. This is not be good. Oh no. Oh no, the can's not spraying. Oh no. Great. And it looks like, oh man, got some spray on here already. Come on. Looks like I gotta go return this real fast. Luckily the store is near nearby. I'm gonna try to get there and get back before this is this is devastating. Alright, continuing back. Well, a little mishap. The can I bought from Joann's crapped out on me last second. As you'll see in that little part, part of the partial clip, kind of got some crock crap all over. So hopefully this will be covered up by this can now. I just tested this over there. Luckily the Joann's Fabrics was only five minutes down the street. All right, let's get to the fun part now. Oh yeah, this is kind of coming out kind of weird, so I feel like I'm going to have to do this kind of fast. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's real nice. Wow, that's real nice. Check that out, folks. Sports fans. Let's get to the good spotty now. This comes out really fast, so try to hit two covers because I don't think it's going to hit me three shots. Do a light coat real quick. And I'll come back with the heavier coat. going quick so I want to get you get covered full covered before I run out that's coming out really nice though Wow. All right, first cover on.
going real fast, so I don't want the tip to clog up. So I'm gonna, I might throw it. This is looking fantastic, though. This is the ticket, folks. This is the stuff right here. If you want to do a sparkle finish, this is the stuff to get. Oh my goodness. And it's so nice because it's it, you, what you call a dust coat or whatever you want to call it. It kind of blends to it. It just blends itself. It's just so nice. You think it's a wet spot and you go and get a little bit more cover. Look at that. Just amazing. Look at that. No streaking. It just kind of blends itself together. You shoot a little a shot of it, you do a spray, and then you go to the next side, next little pass over, and it kind of dries so fast that you can tell where you need to be, and it's just so perfect right now. Little globule right there. I gotta get that. Oh man, this is this is amazing. If it dries so quick. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the second coat right now. But I don't want this tip to foul up on me. This looks fantastic though. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this light. Look at this. Color is amazing. Oh man. Wow. That's all I can say is wow. This might be the last coat I put on for this headstock here. Just want to get some good coverage. Keep spraying those, the areas where the paint, where the tape is at, which I don't need to. Go a little heavier on the spots so that are gonna get some, get some wear. Okay, headstock complete. Oh, starting to run a little bit there. It's okay. Uh oh. Starting to get some dribbles there. It's all right. It's okay. Looking good. Put it this side. Put the body that one right now. Hear it wanting to want to quit. Be quick about this last part. Uh oh, it's giving out. Right at ten, folks. Some dust coats, I guess. Fingers getting tired. It's almost out. Let's get the count spots that count here. That's all she wrote. Empty.
This is enough for one guitar. All right, last step. This already looks amazing. I probably could stop right here. It's got a slight textural feeling of glitter and it probably would eventually have little pieces come off, but this looks amazing as it is. This stuff is awesome, folks. Last process, last step. Go ahead and hit it with the clear. Give it the whole can. This looks amazing. Give it the whole can on the headstock and the body. And then eventually, it got a little heavy right here. You can see it kind of dribble a little bit. Can you see that? But once I put some heavy clear all over this, and then I do a polish after it's all dry after a few days. It's gonna look great. So, it already looks fantastic. All right, so, last step. Hit it with the clear. And I'm using this Rostroyum Triple Thick Glaze High Gloss Coating. And I'm gonna give it the whole can, so, I'm just gonna show this video and then I'll cut to the final product after I'm done, but I'm gonna give this as many coats as it'll take, which this goes as far as the regular paint. As far as this one right here, it'll probably give me about three coats, which should be good for me to be able to give it a good polish at the very end after it dries after a few days. So I hope this video helps somebody if they're on the fence and whether they want to take on this kind of challenge or project themselves but this is really easy the hardest part was just really and it wasn't hard it was just the time to do a sanding on the body and the neck and that really only took less than an hour so have a little confidence in yourself all right here we go wow that looks awesome already how shiny that is. Woo! Get the edges first. Wow. I forgot which side I did here. I think I need to do that side. I do a little light coat right here just to seal it. All right, let's let this dry for a minute. Wow, looking good. This stuff really brings out the sparkle even more. Strange, looks like a cracking going on right here almost. Let's do the edges first. Give it just a light coat real quick. Get everything sealed on there. Gotta put a mask on. Stuff stinks. Oh, need to finish the back side here first.
And that feels like about a third has been used, so I think I can get maybe two more coats out of this. I'm going to show this at the final product. Hit this with two more coats. Then I'll do a polish and I'll make a video on that also. All right, peace. All right, well, here is the final product of this IYV ISMF 200. And uh, it turned out pretty good. So if you watched through this whole long video, see I painted the headstock. Went ahead and oiled the fretboard. So this turned out real nice. And this is what it looks like, the strings on. Put you in the sun here. Check that out. Not too bad, huh? Looks pretty good to me anyways. And there you go. And here's the body. I don't know if it's picking it up in the camera how wildly turquoise and sparkly this is, but this is pretty fantastic. And before I knock it on the floor, I think it looks pretty fantastic. So I hope this uh, helps somebody if they're considering maybe spray painting their own guitar. It's not perfect this by any means. I mean. There's a spot right up here where the paint cracked just a little bit. And there's a couple of runs, small runs that I could buff out a little bit more, but not really worried about it. The back has a tiny bit of that slight orange peel, even though I used a little Meguiar's and compound polish to rub it up a little bit. But I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but it's still slick and smooth and clear and all sparkly as all heck so anyways there she be in all her glory so I have another cool guitar that I picked up for dirt cheap and it's a mess so if you want to see another full restoration go ahead and subscribe Comment if you've uh, done one of these builds or paint jobs also, and let me know what you think of this one. I I love it. All right. Peace out.